Through the hallway you pass by every day, Mr. Reardon is seen teaching to his class of sophomores. High school teachers have a challenging job. They work long hours, grade countless papers, manage the diverse needs of their students, and many of them commute a long way to get to school. But for many teachers, it's also a fulfilling and rewarding career. Um, I am Mr. Reardon, um, and I teach uh, ninth grade English and AP English Language and Composition and 11th grade AVID. Mr. Reardon is one of many teachers who dedicate their lives to educating the next generation. Overall, I think my job as a teacher is to uh, do two things. Um, one of those things is helping my students to learn the content that is associated with the courses I teach. But uh, more beyond that, I think it's my responsibility to help cultivate in students a, a love of learning and a, uh, a sp also a specific passion, like to help them identify something they're really interested in and want to learn more about as they progress through their education. Part of that job is to find a balance between grades and learning. Um, I often find that grades and grading um, and the whole process and the whole like culture around grades has um, ha actually in many cases detracts from learning and takes away from learning and makes less learning happen. And so I find like trying to figure out how to make sure my students are learning without putting too much emphasis on grades is incredibly difficult. While teaching can be difficult at times, it can also be very rewarding. You know, the, just those like side conversations that happen naturally in the course of teaching, both inside the classroom, like during class and also outside the classroom, um, that just, it brings me so much joy and so much fulfillment to, to have those conversations and to um, uh, just to, to, to really get those, have those uh, connections um, with, with students. Many students wonder what teachers do outside of school. Reardon explains his methods to balancing school and personal life. Uh, big picture, I try to do as much of my instructional planning. And so that's, you know, writing handouts, writing slides, posting stuff on Schoology, creating assignments. Like, I try to do as much of that as possible over the weekend. I go really hard on the weekend, you know, sometimes four, six, even eight hours on Saturday and Sunday to just try to knock all of that out. Um, and so then, evenings, I am mostly free. Um, evening, when I say that, I mean weekday evenings. I can come home and I can relax and I can sort of, you know, detach from, from work, from school until the next morning. One way he detaches from work is by doing the thing he loves doing the most. Cooking. Um, I cook all the time. Probably, I probably spend 10 to 15 hours a week in the kitchen at least. Um, every evening, almost, I make a meal. Often, you know, I'll make make things from scratch in ways that most people probably wouldn't. That's uh, a big passion of mine. I'm constantly getting better, and uh, if I didn't have that, I uh, would be much less happy, I suppose. <laughs> While every student has their own visions and plans for the future, teachers like Mr. Reardon also have it planned out. I'm gonna stay here. Um, uh, that's my plan right now. I really, really love Pali. Um, it's, it's such a great place to work, and uh, I just hope to continue here, um, you know, getting better and better as a teacher and, uh, you know, being here for my students. One aspect of school students may overlook is the lives of their own teachers. Teaching can be a rough job, but can also be very rewarding. I'm Eddie Miao, co-reporting with Ethan Hamer. Now back to you.